Welcome to Inspire Eclipses, where today we take you to the land down under to explore one of the most iconic architectural wonders of the world, the Sydney Opera House. Recognizable by its gleaming white sails, this structure isn't just an Australian icon, but a masterpiece of modern architecture. So sit back as we dive into the history, design, and cultural significance of this global landmark. Oh, and don't worry, we'll throw in a few fun facts along the way to keep it interesting. Let's start with the basics. The Sydney Opera House is located on Bennelong Point in Sydney Harbour, right next to the equally famous Sydney Harbour Bridge. Officially opened in 1973, it's a multi-venue performing arts center that hosts over 1,500 performances annually. But don't be fooled by the name. It's not just for opera. From theater to ballet, rock concerts, and even comedy shows, the opera house has something for everyone. So, whether you're into Shakespeare or stand-up, this venue is the place to be. And speaking of visitors, the Sydney Opera House draws in more than 8 million people every year. That's more visitors than some countries have residents. It just goes to show, this place has a magnetic pull on tourists and locals alike. Geographically speaking, the Sydney Opera House is perfectly situated on Benelong Point, which juts out into Sydney Harbour like a watchtower overseeing the city's stunning skyline. The site was once a tram shed and, earlier still, a fort. But now, it's home to one of the most photographed buildings in the world. It's no wonder that its prime waterfront location, combined with the backdrop of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, makes it one of the world's most picturesque settings. Whether you're approaching from the harbour or strolling along the Royal Botanic Gardens, this iconic silhouette never fails to impress. Now. Let's talk about how this architectural marvel came to be. The story of the Sydney Opera House begins in 1956, when the New South Wales government held an international competition to design a new performing arts center. The winning design came from a relatively unknown Danish architect named Jørn Utzon. His vision? A series of soaring, interlocking concrete shells, which, according to Utzon, were inspired by nature specifically the idea of a sailboat in the harbor. While his design was groundbreaking, it was also, let's say, ambitious. So ambitious, in fact, that when construction began in 1959, no one had figured out how to actually build the roof. Engineers had to get creative, which led to some technical delays. Actually, a lot of delays. What was initially supposed to take four years ended up taking 14. The budget also went from a modest $7 million to a staggering $102 million. A little more than your average renovation project, wouldn't you say? Unfortunately, the lengthy delays and escalating costs led to political tensions. And in 1966, Utsun resigned from the project. He left Australia without seeing his masterpiece completed. The interiors were later designed by other architects, but the exteriors stayed true to Utsun's original vision. In a bittersweet twist, Utsun was eventually invited back as a consultant in the 1990s to help with future renovations, but he never returned to Australia. On October 20th, 1973, Queen Elizabeth II officially opened the Sydney Opera House. It was a grand affair, with fireworks and performances marking the end of a long journey for what would become one of the most recognized buildings in the world. Before we continue, hit that like and subscribe button. This will inspire me to make more video. Thanks, now let's continue our video. The architectural design of the Sydney Opera House is nothing short of revolutionary. The structure consists of 2,194 precast concrete sections, each weighing up to 15 tons, assembled to form the iconic shell-like sails. The roof is covered with over a million glossy white and matte cream tiles, specially designed to reflect the sunlight while keeping glare to a minimum. So, yes, it's stylish and practical. Here's a fun fact. The design of the shells was based on sections of a sphere. This not only helped engineers solve the challenge of building the complex roof structure, but also gave the Opera House its sleek, futuristic look, decades ahead of its time. Inside, the building houses multiple performance venues, including the famous concert hall, which seats over 2,600 people and is known for its excellent acoustics. Whether you're there for a classical performance, a modern musical, or even a TED Talk, 
The Opera House provides an immersive experience like no others. Since its opening, the Sydney Opera House has become the beating heart of Australia's cultural scene, hosting everything from opera to contemporary concerts, theater, and even experimental art. It is a symbol of creativity and diversity. Over 1,500 performances are held here each year, attracting some of the biggest names in the performing arts. It's also home to Vivid Sydney, the world-renowned festival of light, music, and ideas, where the Opera House becomes a canvas for brilliant light shows. If you ever needed a reason to visit, experiencing Vivid should definitely be high on your list. Today, the Sydney Opera House isn't just a place for performances. It's also a major tourist attraction, drawing in millions of visitors every year. Whether you're catching a show, taking a guided tour, or just soaking in the harbor views from the steps, there's something magical about being in the presence of such an architectural wonder. In 2007, the Sydney Opera House was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, solidifying its place as one of the most significant buildings in modern history. And beyond its aesthetic appeal, the Opera House contributes nearly $775 million to the Australian economy each year. Talk about pulling your weight. Now, the big question, should you visit the Sydney Opera House? Absolutely. Whether you're a fan of architecture, a lover of the arts, or just someone who enjoys a good view, the Opera House is a must-see. There are guided tours that take you behind the scenes, or if you're more of a do-it-yourselfer, you can grab a coffee at the Opera Bar and enjoy the stunning harbor views. The Sydney Opera House is more than just a building. It's a symbol of human ingenuity, artistic passion, and architectural daring. From its humble beginnings as a sketch by a Danish visionary to becoming one of the world's most celebrated landmarks, the Opera House stands as a testament to what can be achieved when creativity meets ambition. Thanks for joining me on this journey through one of the world's most iconic structures. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the wonders of the world. This is Inspire Eclipses, signing off.